16 years ago, I took my first steps in Gilinor. Now, just graduated college and returning to old school, I found myself rather bored of my main accounts. I realized as I got older, old school became less about fun and more about efficiency. It was a mentality of no XP waste, skill and quest as efficiently as possible. But that same mentality also ruined the fun of RuneScape for me. So I set out to make an account challenge that is not only unique. Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Well, okay, I guess it's not as original and unique as I thought it was, but at least I'll be doing mine as an ultimate Iron Man, so that should change the gameplay significantly enough that it can stand alone as a separate series. I've kept the account rules and restrictions rather simple. We are ultimate Iron Man mode, which means no banking and no trading. Everything gained is acquired by us. Along with this, to further increase my suffering, I've gotten rid of all of our starting items. The main catch with this account is all of our applicable stats will start at level one and can only advance once all of their skills have reached the same level. And we are able to do skills and quests in any order, although the reward XP drops from quests cannot be gained and completed if the XP will add levels to the account to which our base stats are not at already. There are only a few account exceptions that I had to make, the first being hit points. Due to the nature of how its experience is calculated and the methods of acquiring it, it would be impossible to include this while maintaining the purity of the account. Secondly is Slayer, mainly for the same reasons as hit points. Though I will be leveling Slayer in line with the other skills as much as possible, it's not a full out requirement. The final exception is that Herblore will start at level three, simply because you have to do Druidic Ritual to be able to have access to the Herblore skill. So to keep this in line with our account's restrictions, Druidic Ritual can only be completed once all other 21 other applicable skills have achieved level three base stats. So join me as I embark on my own quest, but one with the sole purpose of being the complete opposite of every other RuneScape account. Oh my goodness, it is time to start. Oh, I love it. A fresh account, so much to do, so little time. It's, oh, it's the best feeling. Okay, so I'm just going to start uh, getting some attack levels and just kind of work my way down. Um, I do know that a lot of my moves on this account need to be planned precisely to make sure that I have the right amount of XP to be able to level up in coordination with the other skills. Um, so the best thing I can think of is at least do it in 10 increments. So the first 10 levels here... I have an order that I'm gonna do them in, but for the most part, there's independent skills and cohesive skills. The independent skills are the ones that I can do pretty much at any time and they don't rely on any other skill. These independent skills are skills like farming, construction, and agility, etc. Cohesive skills are the skills that rely on other skills to be successful and to gain experience. So an example of this would be, I need to fish and then cook that food so then I can actually have food to do combat with. That would be an example of a cohesive skill. This first level I really didn't need to do in any specific order as I could kind of just jumble around and get a feel for what the gameplay is going to be like. But definitely going forward uh, for these next couple levels up to 10, I'm going to have to manage my experience very specifically to make sure I'm getting the right amount of XP and a certain skill at the right time. I am curious to see. I'm hoping with killing some goblins and just gaining some XP, maybe I can get lucky if I can grab a couple of beginner clue scrolls or maybe just some decent drops to start out. That would be... <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. There we go. Okay. Beginner clue scroll. All right. I hope at least I can finish it. Uh, it's a beginner, so hopefully it'll be easy. Probably not going to hold on to it, but um, if I'm not able to complete it, I'll just drop it and grab a new one. But still not a bad idea to start. Next level I was going to go ahead and get with some magic and um, definitely focusing on chickens here for combat as they have less health and uh, less health means like less XP I can get, less times I have to hit them. So that's definitely a better route uh, for me for my training, at least in these first couple levels. The best way I can think of right now to get some XP is to just go ahead and grab some of the combat trainers uh, runes every 30 minutes and that can give me a basically consistent stock of wind blasts enough to at least get to 10 eventually. Thank goodness I got the uh, combat trainers, grab some 30 mine runes, air runes, and let's go do some wind strikes. There we go. Easy levels, easy levels. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm more concerned, if anything, just about XP management and hopefully um, it won't be too bad. I know this actually makes me feel a little bit better about being an ultimate Iron Man. It kind of 
helps me gauge my progress a little bit. All right, so most times on a new account, you rush uh, quests, especially free quests. Um, I can't do that necessarily. I have to wait and make sure that XP that I gain is in accordance with my base stats. So I'm gonna have to start with Rune Mysteries, one that does not require any stats and gives me access to the rune crafting skill. Plus conveniently, uh, our beginner clue scroll is actually located in the wizard's tower as well. So I can knock that out and see if I get a chest possibly. Hello, Cedridor, my good man. What do you got for me? Okay, in a village of barbarians. Oh, okay, I've been there, done that before. Hunting, I'll take you. All right, I'm probably just gonna cut to somewhere around here. You not believe how long it actually takes to travel without teleports and everything. Oh, it's actually really exhausting and time consuming, more than anything, to be honest. But all right, let's go ahead and open up this reward casket and see what we get. Oh, okay, that is so good. That's honestly so good. For, for a beginner glue scroll, that's so good. I mean, I probably won't be able to use um, the hard leather body at least until 10, which is gonna be a while, so I might as well yeah, 10. Um, if anything, I'll probably just go ahead and sell this stuff. Uh, at least get some good cash starting out here. Uh, Staff of Earth could definitely help, but we can't use Earth Attacks for a while, so we'll probably just sell it. But uh, I'll go finish up this quest here. And that is the first quest on the account done, one quest point. And honestly, I'm feeling really good about this account. I think this is going to be something completely unique, and there's so many more challenges awaiting ahead.